Hey everybody, this is Reaper on, and today we're going to be taking a look at the movie The Void. The movie starts out with two people running out of a house at night, only for the female to get shot in the bag and then lit on fire. We then cut to a cop sleeping in his car until he sees the crackhead from earlier and notices that he's injured and figures that it's best to take him to the hospital before he just dies on the side of the road, I guess. We then arrive at the hospital and this is where the rest of the movie takes place. Good to see you. We are then given our cast of characters. We got Policeman Dan, Crackhead Craig, uh, no personality love interest, um, a nice old man, a pregnant girl that would give birth to a demon eventually, and it's the obvious victim number one. He's there. He, he's, he's definitely there. Well, besides this obvious victim, see who else we got. We got no one. We got old man doctor number two. Policeman Dan then decides to check out the other rooms and finds out what the, this, this is going on. This isn't my face. <laughs> That's not an effect, is it? So Dan kills the girl and then starts dreaming about cool establishing shots, I guess? A state trooper shows up to inform Dan about various exposition and uh, I guess sticks around for no other reason than to die. Dan goes to call for backup but then realizes that the phones aren't working and figures out the radio and his crews will work. Special Carter, Marsh County, do you copy? I have a code three and I need assist. By this time he's attacked by an inception sound effect and a ghost with a knife. Oh, and in the meantime, we also find out that someone ate a tarantula and it is not agreeing with them. Ugh, that's a lot of legs. After Dan is attacked, we get to go see what's up with Crackhead Craig and we get to meet our first HP Lovecraftian inspired horror. Two psychos that we saw earlier decided to show up. Crackhead Craig grabs the pregnant woman and tries to hold her hostage, and the old doctor tries to defuse the situation. That goes about as well as expected. The old cop then fulfills his side of the deal and starring in this movie by being the first gory death in the movie. Tweedledee and Tweedledum then show up to save the day, but they forgot bullets. Seriously, I'm not even making that up. They literally brought one bullet and used it right away. But not a big deal, axes seem to work all the same. After this, they decide to light old crackhead Craig on fire and wheel him outside for fun. And we also find out that one of the two psychos is mute. And yeah, it is confirmed at this point that they did only bring one bullet. You got a rifle without any bullets and a couple of fucking fire axes. It just... It's close and we can do it fast. So the gang comes up with a plan to run outside to the police cruiser and grab Dan's shotgun. And in doing that, someone is guaranteed to get their head blown off at some point in this movie. I'm looking at you, crackhead Craig. Oh, and also there's a part where the no personality love interest just goes down to the basement and disappears. I guess Dan and her are married or were married at some point. I, I don't know. Does anybody care? When we hit the halfway point, we find out that the doctor that got stabbed in the throat earlier uh, is the bad guy and still alive. So at this point, we get to see Policeman Dan, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Crackhead Craig set off on their magical adventure of going to the hospital basement. Oh, and they didn't actually light Crackhead Craig on fire. I was just joking. Upon reaching the basement, Silent Hill monsters just start coming out of the woodwork. We're in hell. The doctor spills some more exposition about his dead daughter and pulls some of his skin off for reasons. So we're getting into spoiler territory, so uh, if you don't want this movie to be spoiled, um, just skip to this up here. Alright, everybody skipped? Good. So the Silent Hill monsters come out and they start fighting them, and this part is really awesome. We get to see all of the monsters and just how they look and move and just do a lot of creepy things and it's really awesome to see but then we got to go back to the weird so it turns out that the doctor has gotten this one pregnant and the real pregnant girl turns out to be evil 
called it. So a bunch of stuff starts to happen throughout the last act, and a lot of the main characters die. And we also get to see the Doctor's children, and the body horror is just on full display. Uh, just just laying it right out in front of everybody. Dan and the Doctor get to take a trip to the Void. The mute guy gets chased by the Doctor's daughter until he jumps through a wall back to the hospital. And that's it, the nightmare's over. And two of the most forgettable characters in the story walk off to get Starbucks or something. Also, Dan and Alice get to walk around the Void for a little bit. That's kind of cool. So, that was The Void. Overall, it's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie either, but it's definitely not terrible. The monsters are really awesome and some of the effects are really good in this. But the main problem I have with this is simply that the characters aren't really that interesting. I'm only really here to see the spectacle of them die or have monsters jump out. I never really felt attached to any of these people. So if you want to watch The Void, it is available on Netflix and I'll be sure to put a link down in the description to that video. So this is the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and you would like to see more of this kind of content. And if you guys have been having a good day, keep on having a good day. If you guys have been having a bad day, I hope this video made your day a little bit better. I'll see all of you guys next time. Until then, stay cool and bye.